Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. And today we're going to be talking about statistics and data analysis. So I got a question from Uno. That's a pretty damn cool name, by the way. Uh, and he says, I'm considering going to university next year and I saw a program here in Sweden, which is statistics and data analysts. I assume it's some, in some way, shape or form a data science program. Do you think it would be a good investment for the future? Will companies need me in the future? It's not too much programming, but involves programming in SAS or SAS, R and Python, and it involves a lot of statistics. So I have to say, I am, I would be 100% certain that the need for analyzing data will not go away in the, in the recent future, and it will only increase. Think about it this way. The amount of data that's being stored, the amount of data that we're generating on a daily basis is increasing exponentially every single year. It's crazy. If you look at the chart, I don't have the, the chart in front of me, but I was reading a book. I did a review on it called Inevitable. And if you want some good statistics, he's got the statistics compiled for you. And he talks about this idea of like how much data that that is just rapidly being, how, how fast that we're, we're collecting more and more data. So I think this is good. I think this is, is something that that is going to just be growing. I think it's going to grow more than software development itself. I mean, because you got to think about it this way, is that what good is all this data if we can't get information from it, if we can't analyze that data, right? It used to be the, the fact that we didn't have enough data, right? And so the analysis of the data was simple. It's like, ah, am I getting more website visitors? Yes, I am, right? But now it's like, well, look at the demographics information on the, we've got so much data points, like, you know, we've got the demographics, we've got the time of day, you know, the average cost of the, the sale, what they buy from other companies, where they live, all this kind of information. And, and we can crunch a lot of a lot of numbers together in order to, to figure out stuff. So the, the people that are really going to be valuable, I think in the future, are going to be the people that can analyze this data and make sense of it so that we can actually take action on it. And that's going to be a hard job. So learning stuff like R, I know that you know there's uh, there's a few people in, in my community that are, are really big on R. That, that, which is a basically statistic, like a, a, a scientific language for, for data analysis, uh, it, it's growing. It's a growing field, I can tell you. So I would, I would definitely, if this is something that interests you, I would not be worried at all about the future here, and I would, I would definitely go into this. So yeah, that's, that's all I got to say about that. Uh, good luck with it. And uh, let me know, you know, wh what do you think about this? If you are in the field already, you know, it'd be good to get your advice since I'm, I'm not in the data analysis field, but it's always uh, good to, good to hear some encouraging words about, about the industry. I'm sure that you've got plenty. Leave a comment below. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button and uh, you'll get all the videos I do. I do about two to three new videos a day. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.